Hi there, I haven't done a video for ages so I'm feeling a bit guilty but um, today I'm going to talk about my range with uh, Marks and Spencers because I've got a uh, makeup range coming out with Marks and Spencers and it came about really by chance because um, I met the Marks and Spencers buyer Louisa and um, she we talked about whether it was something that could happen and eventually it did happen but you have to remember I've been working on this for a year now so it's been quite a long journey one way and another and one of the people that I felt I couldn't do it without was Nuno da Costa who's the illustrator um, and he does the illustrations for my site um, the beauty plus and britishbeautyblogger.com and I've always been just very drawn to what he does so I guess you could say the collaboration is a combination between me, Nuno and uh, Louisa um, and between the three of us uh, hopefully we've come up with something that is going to appeal to the Marks and Spencers customer most importantly and um, to BBB readers as well. I've tried to make it a really broad range um, colour wise so that I mean, this is a small collection but just make every aspect of it wearable regardless of age or skin tone so quite a challenge and it, well it's up to you to say whether I've met the challenge or not but anyway so I'll start off just um, quickly with the the, pi the palette the uh, face palette which is predominantly for eyes but you can see I have a coral blush there because I love coral on um, cheeks I'm wearing it's the blush I'm wearing right now and um, I chose this because coral it's not too uh, orangey it's it's slightly one down from a traditional coral so hopefully it it just freshens up the face it just gives you a pop of color that blends well into your tone um, and doesn't look like Aunt Sally cheeks um, so colour color selection, which the, the palette really was my biggest challenge because how, how can you choose colours that will suit all tones and um, still be quite versatile. So just to show you, I'm wearing the that colour, that colour and that colour. Oh, and that colour. <laughs> so I'm going to get four on my eyes. And this shade is like a rosy gold. Um, quite, a, quite a deep rose gold and then I've just added a bit of the grey in the socket line uh, this is the shade which is like a, a iridescent uh, cream I've put that up there and then finally I've lined my eyes with this black colour which you can't really see terribly well from there but it's got that's the one that's got a little bit of shimmer shimmer to it <clears throat> so bearing in mind that it's it's got to cover the Christmas period as well as um, October and November and January and February because it finishes in February. It's a limited range only. So, you know, I needed all these colours to do lots of different things. Um, they're buildable. You can build them so you can get a really dramatic smoky eye or you can stay safe with neutrals or you can play about with all of them like I've done today. So that's the palette. Um, these are my, I ought to say, these are my working samples. So they, they've been used and played with and dinged about and the brush, I don't know where that's gone. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> there we go. That's the first thing. That's the palette uh, with the lovely, gorgeous Nuno uh, design on it. Next up, I'll do nails, which again, very strong on the design. Thanks to Nuno with this gorgeous woman and then her hair just cascades into all these lovely flowers. Um, flowers is something that um, m and customers really like um, on their products. It's something they relate to very strongly. So that's one of the ways in which you can tell it's really a collaboration because, um, you know, I love all this dark graphics. Louisa loves the flowers. Nuno's pleased us both. It's really clever of him, actually. So colour-wise, um, this one is melted and it's a lavender that's got a bit of grey smoke to it as well uh, because I love sort of edgy shades, like traditional shades taken down a level or two. Um, this one is pop 
and I'd say this is the colour that I'm most likely to see me wearing at any one time because I love a vivid nail. That, that's just gorgeous. I also love a neutral nail. So Cafe Creme is a lovely sort of creamy beige shade. It's quite a warm tone as well. Um, then we have Mull, which is this uh, deep purple that I'm wearing on this hand. Um, and it's just nice and dramatic. I will say about these formulations is that they um, dry very, very quickly. So I've got two coats. I had two coats on this one, three on that one, and they're, they're dry. They, they're not, I haven't got a dent in any of them. So they dry really, really well. Um, the next one is um, Milky Pink. And th that's this colour here that I'm wearing now. Um, and I love milky shades. I think they're just kind of candy colours, but with that creamy sort of backdrop. Really, really love that one. And finally, um, Icefall. And I put Icefall in. It's like an iridescent top coat. It's a wash of iridescence because, bearing in mind this has to go across Christmas, any of these colours, you can put the festivity or the frosting on it using um, Icefall over the top. On the darker shade, uh, Mull, it takes it maybe down one tone or two, but the result is really, really pretty. But any of your colours, you can put the Christmas on with Icefall. So that's um, that one. Next up, we've got the lip set. Um, and again, really lovely strong lip for the pop of colour. Um, now these are... the again please remember these are like my working samples so this is um selfie and it's what i'm wearing what i'm wearing now oh sorry dropped it it's what i'm wearing right now um and it's just a lively um pop of well it's coral again but it's it's like a a sort of toned down from a very traditional bright coral but i just think it lifts lifts my colour. Um, I'll take it off though and i just take you through the other shades uh, too. There's in two other shades. So the next one is so bad that I've forgotten the name. Hang on, I'm heartful, that's right. Now this is red and I'm scared of red and I've always said it on my blog that I, I find red really hard to wear. So to find a red that I felt really happy with was excruciatingly difficult but we got there uh, with Heartful so I will just pop it on and so you can see you know I think it is a brilliant red for my tone and the thing about it is not too red it's not a scary red I'm so happy with this one I can't tell you and the final shade is a uh, nude colour which I will quickly show you and the formulas for these are a sort of like a glossy lip sheen, I would say. Uh, they're not like a gloss, uh, but they're one up from a sheen. A sheen. So it, it's, a, it's a sort of funny blend of the two, but they, they're quite moisture, moisture filled. And then I love nude lips and this, because it's got a little gleam to it is just about my perfect new shade. So those are the three in, in the lips. Now, uh, there's two things I don't have. One is the bronzer, and I'll just confess now, I dropped it, so I can't show it to you because it's in pieces, and I dropped it from a big height too. It's not that it's flimsy, it's just, you don't need to know about <laughs> how that happened. But it, oh, I'm taking them out of the box, this is the box for the eye shades and the eye colours are here. So actually, they're so much nicer in the box. I'm going to put them back. Um, that's just me being hopeless. So there we go. This is what the eye colours are. And I love that Nina's just done this really simple look and then the pop is around the eyes and it just looks so lovely. And I like blue eyeliners, especially on brown eyes. I think it just makes them zing is really really cool so I won't go through each and every one of them but something I only noticed uh, yesterday 
is they've all got they've got British Beauty Blogger written on them. I didn't I didn't even know that till yesterday, so I'm quite excited about those. But those are this looks like a brown, but again, it's more a rose-toned brown, if you like. Um, this is like a lovely uh, matte grey. Um, so you can see there is that the blue one. I'm sorry, my light's not amazing. So you can use them on the inner or the outer rim um, because they are in a coal format. This one, uh, the one that I put in, is it's got a sparkle to it, so it's black with sparkle. So again, you know, if you when you have the set, you can go really, really glam with some shimmer and sparkle, or you can just go matte, or <laughs> again, there's some sheens in there too. So like this blue, for instance, that's a sheen. This gorgeous green, and I included a green because it's not necessarily a colour that I would wear, but when you've got lots of black mascara on, this green just really wow wows your eyes. No matter what your eye colour is, it's a really gorgeous, clever colour. Um, the one thing I would advise about these is they, m and make them, so they are so pointy and sharp. They look incredible, but I just sort of nub mine down a bit because I feel it's easier to work um, with something that's not like a very sharp point um, and so I've just found it much easier to do that with these but I'm absolutely thrilled with the quality I've included um, there's a plain black one there and a dark grey too so I've included this shade which looks kind of strange but it's a it's almost like a, an iridescent colour like a lilac -y base so you can put it over um, any of the others and it will give it uh, a different take on the shade. Um, and in this instance, uh, when I've put it over the blue, it's just made it into slight, a slightly sheeny blue. So hopefully it's quite versatile. There's a wash bag and there's a really, really pretty bronzer as well. Look at my fringe, it's gone. It always parts like theatre curtains. I don't know why that happens. Um, launches on the 9th of October so really any time now and um, everything is intended to be versatile so I can't really review my own products that's just too awkward for words and you will end up ultimately being the reviewers in whether you enjoy it but I, I hope you do I will have some more information on my blog um, over the coming week including all the little things that you, you don't think um, have to go into, what, what makes a collaboration, I suppose, and why it's a reflection of three, three, uh, I was going to say people, but yeah, well, Louisa as representative of Marks and Spencer, so it's, a, it's the three of us, and we've done, you know, we've had to make some compromises here and there, so each person is sort of satisfied along the line, but in truth, it's worked really, really well. And I feel very lucky to have this and very proud of the product. So when it starts to roll into store, I hope you enjoy it. And um, thanks very much.